Uh, William J. McCabe, McCabe, M, capital M, small c, capital C, and B, E. Good morning, sir. You're doing fine. I just ask you to keep your voice up as you have been. Is it loud enough, sir? It's, it's fine as far as, like, everyone can hear the gentleman? Yes, sir. Go ahead, please, Mr. Thank you, Ron. Good morning, Mr. McCabe. Uh, could you speak a little louder? Good morning, Mr. McCabe. Good morning. <coughs> What city or town do you live in? Excuse me? What town do you live in? I live in Tewksbury, Massachusetts. Normally, the Ports Commission may get closer to it. Uh, can, can your voice be amplified better? Because yours is not amplified as well as the witnesses. Okay. It, maybe uh, the microphone can be turned up if somebody with technical expertise can help us, or you can pull it closer to your, to your uh, mouth. How old are you, Mr. McKay? 85. And sir, how long have you lived at the address you're at in Tewksbury? Uh, since uh, 1962. And you still live in the same home? Yes, sir. Now, sir, back in 1969, what type of work did you do? I kind of hear you, sir. What type of work did you do in 1969? Uh, I was an engineer, microwave engineer. And sir, did you have children in 1969? Yes, that's okay. great. Boys or girls? Uh, two girls and one boy. And what was the boy's name? The boy's name is John J. McKay. Seventh of '69, he was 15 years, uh, six months, and two weeks old. How tall was John McCabe? Uh, John was about five four, five five around there, sir. I have nothing further to say. What, sir? Wilson. Wilson? We've seen each other in court over the last year, and I just wanted to introduce myself here. Yes, sir. I don't think I was introduced to you. Okay. Um, I've got a couple of questions for you, sir. Um, and I know this is probably difficult for you, and it's difficult for me to ask you these questions, but I want to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, the early morning hours, Mr. McCabe, of the 27th of September of 1969. Yes. 
I understand from police reports that your wife had woken you up and told you John had not been home. That's right. Okay. Um, well, wait a minute. No, she woke me up. She woke me up around 11 o'clock on the 26th. Okay. I and, was asleep. Okay. And you had made efforts to find John that night driving around, right? Uh, I didn't drive around there. No, I, I drove around the, in a police cruiser. Right. Um, you had contacted the Tewksbury police, right? Yes, sir. And uh, an officer, Walter Jameson, drove you around, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, you and Officer Jameson uh, drove around into the early morning hours of the 27th looking for John, right? Uh, it, was, it started late the 26th and then early into the 27th, yes, sir. Okay. And in the early morning hours of the 27th, sir, you recall uh, being in the police cruiser driving through the Tewksbury area, and it was, it was raining. You recall that, sir? Uh, yeah, it was kind of misty. Okay. It wasn't a heavy rain, but it was kind of misty. And later in the morning, later in the morning, it rained heavier early Saturday morning. Do you recall that, sir? I don't remember that. We finally fell asleep, but I didn't wake up till uh, probably around 6 or 7. Okay. And you, and I know, sir, that you've kept journals over the years, and, and, and you've talked to people about the journals, and in your journals, you remember on Saturday morning it was rain soaked. The field was rain soaked where they found John, right? Uh, I didn't get to go to the scene of the crime, sir. Do you recall that on Saturday that was that had rained on Saturday earlier in the evening? I knew it had rained. Uh, it was might have been one or two in the morning, okay. and it was kind of misty. But I don't remember anything beyond that. Because I went to bed. belt was never recovered, right, sir? I heard that. Yeah, nobody told me that officially, but I heard that from rumors. It was never returned. It was never located from the funeral home. Never returned to you or your wife, right, sir? No, sir. Thank you, sir. Good question. Yes. <coughs> Mr. Cage, were you home when John went to the dance? <coughs> were you at home when John left to go to the dance? No. Do you know if John was going to belt when he left the dance? Left the guard dance? I don't know that. Thank you. I wasn't home. Thank you, Brandon. So just, just briefly. Okay. Mr. McCabe, just another follow up question regarding the belt. Over the years, you have communicated with newspapers and articles, have you not, sir? Yes. yes. This is with respect to the belt run. Okay. Uh, do you want to be heard for other? Yes, sure. Okay. I told you as part of my job, I decided uh, questions of law and an objection. I made a conference with the attorneys for doing so. I'm going to stand up most likely turn my back to you, which I apologize because I was very true, but it's a very important function. We're going to keep our voice down. All right, sir, it appears your testimony is done, so you're all set. You can step down. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. And we have no objection that you remain. Thank you.